becoming rich comes from really working harder than everybody else. I think you know, ano, and I think na my sons know that. My my sons know kung gaano kasipag ang nanay nila. And it it's funny because Nico asked this of me a few days ago. Sabi niya, "Didn't you grow up feeling that you're a kuwanko?" And I said, "No. I actually was raised by my mom with this notion na don't ever expect an inheritance because you're really not sure you're going to get anything. So everything that you have should come from you. So I, the boys actually know that they do have trust funds and they know, Bim especially knows how much he's worth because it's <laughs> under the law. It's mandated talaga that um, for you to get an ESWD permit to work, but there is a trust fund that is set up, but he's lucky because in under the law, ang I think tama ba ako na thirty percent ang required na savings, pero sa kanya hundred percent, and wala siyang tax na binayaran that in absorb ng nanay niya lahat ng tax. So I I always tell him that, but you do know that you're going to be responsible for Kuya for the rest of Kuya's life when Mom is no longer here. So I think that in what they're seeing actually is also based on authenticity and i think the 15 year old julia appreciates that because the, because of social media and because of how easy it is to have access we're so used to people just telling the truth and that wasn't the way it was when i started on tv Parang, and daming times kung na call to the principal's office for saying too much. <laughs> but now, yung parang sabi ko, okay na. And I think, ano, you can just be yourself. 